I see so many people asking how to build the bigger following on Instagram, how to attract more followers. But the real question here is how to make more sales so you can keep doing what you love. If you want to grow Instagram as a business and attract the perfect customers to your profile, stay till the end of this video because I'm going to show you the five steps I use to grow my own accounts from zero to over 3000 people, followers and ideal customers. I say business and customers because 20% of the traffic to our website and uh, the sales actually come from Instagram. When you know what these five steps are, You'll be able to attract the right audience coming to your profile, the audience that will be happy to follow you, to, to engage with your content, to buy from you, to, to recommend your brand to all of their friends. And what this Instagram success means for you is you'll be able to get more sales and more sales means more cash flow. More cash flow means more tools for you, more resources to, to keep doing what you love and to live life on your terms, creating great products that serve people the best way possible. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Annie Maglev and I'm a Bulgarian digital marketer and business owner. I started my first business at the age of 24 together with Desi, my best friend. We decided that 9 to 5 wasn't the life we wanted to live, so we started our first service-based business here in Bulgaria. Then in 2019, at the age of 29, we started our own digital marketing academy again here in Bulgaria and we have trained over 500 Bulgarians how to use social media for business for the past two years. So guys, make sure you stay till the end of this video because the last step, the fifth step, will show you how to increase the engagement of your content you're putting online and um, this secret actually, this little tool is responsible as well for increasing sales with Facebook ads. So it's working in Facebook and on Facebook and on Instagram. So you're going to get a really good secret, guys. Stay till the end. Okay, guys, it's time to show you the five steps. Step one, first and most important, I keep reminding uh, my students about this step all the time. It is who you want to attract, who is your ideal customer. I know so many people, when they hear this step, they think about, oh my God, I'm, I'll lose so many people if uh, I choose only one uh, small niche group of people who, who I want to talk to. But you're not actually going to lose anybody. You're going to attract the right people to your profile. Just imagine for a second, you're, you're selling meat. I'll give an extreme example here. You're selling meat and uh, meat burgers, for example. And um, in, when you want to attract everybody, you'll attract some vegan guys to your brand. But just imagine what a vegan customer would, uh, would say about your meat burger. Just imagine if this customer is ever going to buy your meat burger. Even if it's the most beautiful, most amazing, most delicious burger on the planet Earth, is a vegan going to buy your burger? No, of course not. They're going to be, they're going to leave probably hateful comments. They're going to judge you for eating meat and so on. So, giving this extreme example, I want you to imagine the reality of wanting to attract everybody. If you want to attract everybody, you're actually not attracting uh, the right people. But if you choose a specific group of people you want to attract, you'll be able to get the perfect message that will attract those guys. You'll create content that they'll love and they'll engage with your content more and more. And uh, when, you, when you make your offer, when you show what you have to sell, they'll be ready to buy. But if they're not your perfect audience, you'll have a huge number of followers and none of them is going to buy. So if you want to create a sustainable, growing Instagram business, the first and most important step for you is to define who is your ideal customer. And now I'll give you a couple of questions that will help you define this person. So how to decide who is your ideal customer? Who is this person you would be the happiest to work with? I have three questions that will help you figure out who is this person. Question number one is what is your experience? Have you worked with a specific group of people or have you done something successfully in your life? 
let's say you you figured out how to lose the your weight after let's say pregnancy if you have figured out how to do this thing and if you have done it successfully then you have the tools the framework that can help many other new moms lose this weight and feel confident again so this is uh, this is the answer to this, this question. Every one of us have some kind of experience. Some, um, all of us have a, a job. We have done something before in our lives that we have been good at. And the same thing we can transfer to our own business and start selling it to our own clients. So think about it. What is the thing you're good at? What is something you have overcome and you can um, you can create content about and you can actually create your own product. Question number two is who is the person you would be the happiest to work with? I must admit I love my job. I have always loved my job. But um, I also have had clients that were a disaster. And uh, working with them wasn't nothing here, to, nothing close to joy. So you have to make the choice. Who is the person you would be happy to work with? Because happiness is essential. Making money, you'll be able to make money one way or another. But but being happy making this money is uh, brings actually fulfillment in life. So question number three is uh, who is the person who would benefit the most from your program? There are many potential clients, but there is a smaller group that would be that your program or your product or your service would be the best fit for. So think about it. Who is the person that will be the happiest to, to buy from you and to use your product or service? Step number two is craft a strategic bio. When it comes to Instagram for business, your bio is super important because these little a couple of words are the first little date you make with your potential new follower or potential new customer. So with your bio, you have to answer three specific questions. Who are you? What is the benefit you're going to provide to your potential follower? And what else you can give them? So let's see how I did it here. I'm an Instagram business coach. This speaks directly to the needs of my customer because our potential customer, because if somebody is interested in Instagram for business, they'll follow me. If not, they're not going to follow me. This way I'm targeting my perfect audience right here with these three words. Second, what is the benefit I'm going to provide to my new follower? I help experts turn their Instagram profile into a profitable online business. As you know, I'm a digital marketer, but I'm not talking all about digital marketing and online business here. I decided to position myself in a smaller niche, so the more specific I get, the more success I'll have faster. And uh, last but not least, you can add a specific call to action here. I added my YouTube channel and I used this little arrow as a call to action. So when people come and uh, see my bio, when they scroll through my content, they can go click this link and uh, visit my YouTube channel where they're going to get even more valuable content. So they'll decide if they want to follow me or not. They'll follow me if they find my content valuable. The third step of building a successful Instagram profile for business is to create the valuable content. Remember, you're here to entertain, to educate and to inspire your followers and potential followers in order to attract new people to your profile. I see so many people making the mistake of talking about their products and services all the time and uh, when they post let's say 10 12 posts only about their products they ask why i'm losing people why nobody's engaging with my content well i'll say you i'll tell you why because you're not providing value to to your people but you're always and all the time asking for the sale nobody is going to buy from you this way but if you do the opposite and if you um, take care of your people. If you provide valuable content, people will be glad to follow you, to engage with your content and to buy from you. 
Creating valuable content for the customers means you have to know this person. You, you need to know what topics would be interesting for them um, in connection with your product or service you're selling. I'll give you an example with our own uh, brand here in Bulgaria with our Copy Social Academy. Um, where we have a product, we have actually two main products which are two courses, one about Facebook ads and one about Instagram business. So I want to attract people who either build their own business right now or people who have their own business and they're trying to, um, to make it an online business. So I know my people and I know they're interested in topics about online business first, second, digital marketing and third, personal development because um, whatever you're doing, whatever business you're building, you have these moments in life where you just need help, support and some inspiration. So I create content that uh, serves um, these people this way, that inspires them. Okay guys, we made it to step number four, which is collaborate. The secret to consistent growth of your Instagram profile is collaboration. But you have to be very strategic about uh, who do you collaborate with. You need to make friends and collaborate with people with similar to your audience or similar um, to the audience of people you want to attract. Because in some cases it can be very tempting to collaborate with some really big accounts but if they don't have the right followers for you it can actually ruin your engagement. So be strategic about that as well. Uh, what I could uh, suggest here is um, be social on social media. The easiest thing you can do daily for at least 5 to 10 minutes is to go and leave some meaningful comments on other people's profiles and um, probably to like a couple of pictures, to send some DMs, to respond to some of their stories because they're in this platform to be social as well and they're seeking engagement like you do. So if you help them grow their engagement and if you show yourself as a human being there and say something good, something nice, they'll be open to respond, they'll be open to talk to you and to actually make friends. I must admit that uh, and uh, probably reveal that all of the people we're having IG lives this month, June, 2021, we have never seen in real life. They're all Instagram friends. Uh, my friendship with them had started when me or them, uh, we have liked some of the other's pictures, we have commented to stories, to posts, and uh, the conversation kept going on the DMs. So when the moment was right for this type of interviews, we decided to invite those people we, we already had engagement with on Instagram and uh, we already online knew each other. So we still don't uh, know each other in, in real life, but we're able to make something great for our audience and to provide our people with great content. And um, actually this, this is one of the main reasons our profile is growing, because when you collaborate with other people, let's say someone you like and follow uh, posts a great post on their feed, you can go and share the post to your story and um, show this content to your followers. The creator of the content will be grateful and happy that you have shared their content and exposed them to your audience and they'll be much more open to do the same thing for you when, when you post something they like. So the valuable content you're posting actually is something that provokes engagement and if you are social on social media and give first before you want to take for yourself, you'll make more friends and people will start recommending your content more and more. So make it a task for you starting today to find a couple of profiles you really like and start engaging with their content right away. Okay guys, we have made it to step number five which is something simple. If you remember, I said at the beginning that this step number five is responsible for a bigger engagement on Instagram and for better sales on Facebook. So it is something really simple, but I have tested with posts, with or without this thing, that uh, it actually works like magic. 
it is called a call to action. It means that you have to tell your audience what do you expect them to do because uh, if you don't do so, they won't do anything. And I have tested it, it, it works exactly like this. I'll give you an example. If you provide uh, a post with a, valuable con with a bunch of valuable content, you can tell your people save this post if you need it later or save this post. It is a simple call to action that will remind people they can actually click the save button and uh, save your valuable content for later when they need it. Or you can say share with your friends in the stories. Or you can say hit the like button if you something. When you uh, include this simple call to action, you increase your engagement dramatically. And this simple call to action actually helps you get more traffic to your website if you have a sales funnel and if you use the link in the bio to get more traffic to your website. If you haven't yet watched my four steps for building an Instagram business, I'll put the link to this video below and I have one more video that shows exactly how I use this strategy in uh, the profile of Copy Social Academy, so go and watch those videos as well. So guys, I want to challenge you to test this simple solution today and add a call to action to your next post so you track how many people are going to, let's say, save your post and uh, compare it with how many people have saved your previous post with, without the call to action, you'll see the difference yourself. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching till the end, I'm so grateful to have you here. Hit the like button if you like this video to show me and the algorithm it is good and uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when I upload a new video which is going to be in the next few days so I'll see you soon guys have a wonderful day kisses have faith keep going you'll get successful I believe in you believe in yourself as well